Hello and welcome to another episode of Short and Sweet TV. We'll be looking at InDesign today and creating some pull quotes in this brochure that we're working on. Pull quotes are a great way to break up your text a little bit or break up your marketing material. And you would normally just select some text such as this sentence here, uh, copy it and then create a new text frame and then paste that text inside and then style it or format it. But there is a quick way if you're doing, if you're working on a large document and you're doing a lot of pull quotes, there is a setting in your preferences that will allow you to actually just drag this text into a new text frame rather than having to copy and paste it into a new text frame. So it reduces the amount of steps. And we can do that by coming up and changing our preferences in InDesign. If I come up to my InDesign preferences, so I'll come up to InDesign here and scroll down to preferences and go to my type options. And it's underneath here, the drag and drop text editing. Now by default, that won't be selected, but if I click that on to enable it in layout view, that will now allow me, if I click OK, and come back into the document, you can see that the cursor has changed slightly. It's now got um, an arrow with a little T underneath, which if I click on this and now drag it, um, you can see it's going to allow me to drop that text elsewhere within these text frames or within this one text frame. Now, if I'd like to create a separate text frame from this one, what I can do is hold down the command key or hold down the control key on PC. And you can see I've now got a little uh, picture frame in my cursor. And I also want to duplicate this text. So I don't just want to remove it and put it in a pull quote um, box. I actually want to copy it. So I'll hold down the option on Mac or Alt on PC and then just release the mouse. And there you go. I've now got that text sitting in a separate text frame and it's all just done in one swift action. So I'm now ready to start formatting this text so that it looks a little different to my body copy and it breaks up the layout a little bit. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next Short and Sweet TV video tutorial.